What's up, everybody? How's it going? We're back. <laughs> Once again, they, get rid of us. they let us back in again, dude. Uh, part two with our packaging uh, extravaganza with our buddy Alex Lazarus. How's it going, dude? Fantastic, man. I am so pumped for round two. <laughs> <laughs> I, this, I was going to say, even this morning, I was like thinking of some new ideas and I was like, we're just going to leave it to chat today because they, they did such a good job yesterday. That was a blast, dude. So you didn't do your homework? I did not do my homework. I might come oh, up with something for maybe goodness. that very last one. Uh, I don't know if I could top Voodoo Vals, dude. Like that was just the best. <laughs> yeah, Voodoo Val was coming in clutch yesterday. I mean, everybody in chat yesterday delivered yeah, that phenomenally. Was great. Yeah. Uh, so as a repeat from yesterday, in case you missed out, um, well, I guess I'll go into who I am later, but <laughs> we worked on a bunch of can designs in chat. We had everybody helping out with names and like Direction. ideas and concepts and everything. And we spent about 15 to 20 minutes per um, yeah. each can trying to build like a quick little brand for each and a theming and everything like that. So we need your help again today. Work with us, try to build craziness. If you were doing at home, Feel free to go to Adobe Stock and pull down some mock-ups really quickly because that's what we're working off of. Um, and you can participate and join us in these challenges. It's a really great way to like get the creative juices flowing, yeah. especially if it's early in the morning. It's a great thing to do like with your coffee for 15 minutes in the morning. <laughs> so. I think what we're planning here and aiming for is to show what how much you can do in a really good stint. Like, you know, like just try out as much of this and challenging yourself to do more than you know, one or two like concepts i think we're keeping these loose right we're not refining them that much we're just getting to a point where we think they look great and we're showing them off and it's that whole quality and quantity together you know absolutely yeah we're not trying to get too nitpicky there might be some issues with it but like we can always kind of polish that up yeah. later on yeah um, but in case you don't know who i am my name is alex lazarus i'm a creative director at we are lazarus based in portland oregon um, where we focus on hospitality, packaging, and beverage design. And I'm joined with the beautiful, talented Nick Longo. What's who up, everybody? <laughs> is also an incredibly talented uh, packaging designer and brand designer. Um, and so this is going to just be a lot of fun. Yeah, Nick man. is kind of like my hovering art director and timekeeper and like <laughs> chief executive officer and everything. There we so. go. Specifically the time checker, because we're trying to keep ourselves on schedule. Uh, speaking of schedule, ooh, good segue. Let's look at the rest of the schedule for today when it comes to what's coming up after us. We are here from 12 to 2, as you see there, with our packaging design. There is a creative challenge uh, replay hosted by Andrea that's coming up at 2. And then Kyle T. Webster is back again with another draw along at 2.30 all Pacific Standard Times. So that's what's coming up after us. Um, if you are watching over on YouTube, come on over to the Behance side. We'll see you in chat. Definitely let us know you're here, where you're from, what was your favorite from yesterday, and uh, we're going to enlist you guys in some help in uh, some of the new stuff for today, for sure. So can't wait, get, can't wait to get back into this. This is going to be a blast, dude. Um, so we, we took a look, right? We saw some of the stuff you, you had done yesterday. You yep. can see Alex has been laying them out in some beautiful artboards. Looking yep. nice and spiffy. <laughs> yeah. Now, now that I have all these artboards built out in Photoshop, I see that there's a bunch left that we can add. <laughs> <laughs> so for all of you who are new today, I think we're seeing a few new names, a few names from yesterday. Glad to ha have you guys back. The whole idea here is was like this, this concept of canned air. So think of scented candles. Think of things that go really past that line of novelty and just have it for total fun, right? Like the whole idea of like, what could this possibly smell like if you were to open this up? And you can see we've got O'Hare, which was kind of paying homage to O'Hare Airport, Chicago. We have Bel Air, which was kind of like this ritzy California one from uh, LA. One of my favorites, Puppy Breath. Let's just, you know, the hipster little puppy. This was fantastic. Uh, Total Nonsense. That was a great one. That, uh, that one really was fun because everybody was really pushing everybody into this really cool vibe of like fairy tale meets kind of like, um, you know, Shrek meets, uh, what else were we talking about? Game of Thrones, like all those cool yeah. things, right? That it was like the kind of like the the darker side of a fairy tale almost yes. with like the like huntsman, I guess it was yeah. like that Disney movie or something. That oh, came that's out. Like, the good, that was the good one. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, so then, Darth, Darth 
vapor, gosh, I keep like tripping over those words, uh, was from our wonderful, talented Booty Val, uh, because she loves her Star Wars name. So hopefully she's got some more puns for us today. Hopefully, oh, Hawk Rattle. What's up, Andrew? He's How back. You doing? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to just run with whatever you have in chat. I know a lot of you were going to go back and do homework about crazy things we can do. So if you have any ideas, throw them over. We're we'll ready. just start jumping into it. So yeah. again, let's. We started yesterday with the air idea. Give us a location. Give us a. Give us something that we can pull from. That would be an incredible canned air smell scent. Could be funny. Could be serious. Could be just complete novelty and fun. Uh, can't wait to see what everyone's doing. And if we do get a chance, yes, Kevin, we are going to be taking some of this stuff at the end and turning it into dimension and showing you the ease and flexibility of using creative libraries and all that kind of fun stuff. Yep. Yes. So Andrew, maybe you got a great one for us. We're doing a canned air concept. You can see some of the ones we had here. We had total nonsense. We had uh, hopes and dreams. That was a great one as well. Fresh air me. L was a great yeah, one too. Fresh air L. Uh, Flavors of canned air, yes. So let's see what else. I'm, I think we should probably get in some ideas in the chat pretty soon. I'm looking from your other ones. The Made in China one was pretty funny. Uh, light metal, that, that was a good one. So beautiful. It's like can we get some vintage age air? Ex expand on that a little bit. What are we What are we talking? Give us something specific, and uh, and I think Alex will be re ready to kind of take it. Mm. Ooh, lockdown. That's a good one. Smell like time slipping away. <laughs> That's a good one, man. I, I kind of dig that. Uh, what else we got? Fresh cut grass is always a good one. I think I had a candle like that once once or twice. Kind of cool. Vintaged air. Fresh cut glass. What else we got, guys? Chat's got to help us out. We got any other fresh ideas? <laughs> well done. Sorry. I know it's one of those things, man. We are the what, pun What masters would be an Ooh. old air? Like a... Ooh, um, like a musty seller or something like... Um, seller's choice. We'll call it seller's Ooh, choice. Seller's and the choice. tagline would be like uh, vintage aged air. Yeah. Definitely write down uh, clean laundry. That's a good one. Ooh. I like that. Or yeah, I, I was gonna say dirty laundry. Dirty laundry? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More than that, yeah. Yeah, we've seen the, the clean laundry a lot, right? Uh, Bloom plums. There you go. But I, I do like that seller's choice. That's kind of good. Austin's yeah. back. Welcome back, dude. Laundry. Smells like log cabin leather and musk. Yeah, that's pretty Oof. much the... Uh, <laughs> that's not, are we going to go with seller? What do you want to do? Uh, I kind of like dirty laundry. I like the seller's choice as well. I, I'm just looking through typefaces to see yeah, if Yeah, take your pick, man. You want to do the dirty laundry? I can see something kind of... Uh, Man, there's just a, I mean, it's so neat how your mind just, that creativity starts going about thinking about what font to start yeah. thinking and choosing when you have a, a great idea. I um, might do something stinky. I'm going to probably pull really quickly from stock, uh, Adobe stock. Cool. Uh, like a dirty laundry photo is kind of the yeah. background to this. And we, we did this a lot yesterday. Alex went right to Adobe stock just looked up some quick things. We probably had like, in most cases, we couldn't choose, man. There's so many great things to pull from, you know, just for fun. Uh, oh, look at that, that dude, uh, wait, where was, there was one that I think. <laughs> this guy? That one looks good. You gotta find something that's dirty, right? Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, that basket's pretty good. Um, basket's oh, there good. he is, there he is. Ooh, this is uh He's got stained shirt uh, over there on the far left. Oh, this guy? There, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm catching all these good ones. We had a few good ones. We have Lego Air. That's a good one. Pint of Propeller. Library Book Binding. Oh, that's a great one. Helium. Hot Socks. Woo. That's really good. Bonfire Fumes. <laughs> Hot Socks. Wait, that's so a funny. great one. Hot Socks just sounds like something. That's a, that's a brand just waiting. S'mores Air. That would be good. Oh, burning yeah. season keep these going guys because we, we we will be re revisiting some of these great uh ideas for the next one so okay you are at 12 10 right now okay. should we get we're we doing a 15 minute challenge here let's do it all right Let's see what Perfect. we can do so again what we did the process yesterday we had the name we started thinking about these adobe stock kind of files any imagery typography what are those things we're going to start pulling from and alice is going to put together that can and the idea here is like 15 minutes so 
Yeah, magic's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Just salty, crusty air. <laughs> that sounds, <laughs> sounds hilarious. <laughs> Force fires. Oh, that's a good one. Come on, Adobe Stock, download faster. Oh, uh, no. There we go. All right, we're going. Perfect. We're there. Are you going with this one here with the uh, everything flying or the guy? There you go. I, I don't know yet. I, I like the, dir the just... dirty laundry is just perfect, dude. The one that he has? or I, I, I like, Yeah, and I, I'm almost thinking, too, you can probably mess with his shirt and maybe clear up some of the dirt and put put the, the font in kind of looking like it's been painted with dirt and mud. Yeah, I was thinking that, that what I cool. like about the flying laundry is that it yeah. creates kind of a nice texture. Oh, yeah. And in that, I can also create kind of a negative space for the logo to like Oh, like yeah. Live. Like kind of squeeze to... in there. Yeah, because I like, I like this like how cheesy the stock photo is. Yeah. But also like from like, just like a can perspective, I'm like, oh, maybe. And this is where like it's hard balancing the like how Could serious do I want to get? How yes. literal do I want to get? And just like how playful, how fun. And so I don't know. We'll yep. see. Perfect. Just ma mask out this uh, quickly. Nice. So we got our, our starter image ready to go. Um, man, I'm already, yeah, I'm already thinking of, you could think of the fonts that would just work perfectly with this. You could almost like, sometimes I always think like you could almost go with something inspired by a brand that exists in this area. You think of like Tide, you think of, uh, all those, all the typography treatments that are being used in these kind of products, mm -hmm. you know, laundry products. Where do you, where do you usually like when you're in this stage, where do you pull inspiration from? Is it just things that well, you know? I cheated uh, because I knew that I'd be on here and I'd have to be going fast. So I pulled some like of my favorite typefaces, which, yep. you know, kind of try to give a nice breadth of what might be able to like be pulled from. But I mean, Adobe Fonts has so many great ones. You can yeah. go to even Google Fonts. Um, yep. There's just so much to that you can do. Yeah, there's never, you can never use that excuse. I couldn't find the right font. I mean, honestly, like it's like, They've made it so easy, particularly on like Adobe fonts, anywhere else you look. Um, also too, like pull out your iPad or even if it's just something you're doing uh, sketching, make it yourself, right? Like when you need that perfect font and it's not a lot of letters, I'd rather try it out ourselves, you know? Absolutely. When I, time, when time persists, you know, when you have that, that <laughs> permits like a little more time for sure. You know? yeah, and I loved that whenever we were uh, on your stream and I was your host, how you brought in some of those beautiful kind of typefaces and your own sketches to oh, I love complement everything. Yeah, it's actually really fun. I think that's like, especially if it's synced so well nowadays, like it, you can have it in your libraries just from doing it on your iPad. I like that a lot, dude. So that's that really typeface cool. is looking pretty good with it. What I'm going to actually do though is I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to actually um, kind of add a little bit more of like a like a like a wavy haze to it yeah i was gonna say oh even like can you, you can spin it a little bit like it's it's being tumbled with um with like mm. in the dryer you could do I something mean, like that yeah that's Maybe actually a little really spiral idea. man i'm loving some of these great ideas we got some more we got canned nitrogen called cool breeze <laughs> pool <laughs> locker room oh i could just smell that like, like just straight chlorine it's just yeah any time you're around like a public pool that smell right public pool locker room oh my god so i'm gonna just do a filter liquefy on this yeah and i'm gonna draw on it a little bit so nice. i'm gonna have my pressure hello shauna welcome oh hello shauna <laughs> oh, button. actually that was kind of all right let's see here i'm gonna do the right one Ooh, yeah. What I just want to do is add a little bit more waviness to it and kind of get the little stinky vibes going. Yes, there you go. Maybe it's a little bit too. That's really fun. So what tool, you, describe what you're doing here. You're so using... I'm using the liquify filter nice. and I've got the forward uh, warp tool on it and I can Love just it. kind of pass it through and get kind of crazy with it. I That's don't want it to great. get too crazy, but I do kind of want to make it feel a little bit, you know, a little bit musky. Yeah, I kind of like that. This is also, I feel like that font has that vibe and you got so many different colors, like uh, doing the text multicolored, right? Use mm -hmm. some of that pink, some of that blue, some of that yellow. Be kind of fun as well, too. That looks yeah, great. That's a good idea, too, just coloring each letter. Yep. I'm trying to think, I was like, my initial gut reaction was like, make it like kind of a gross green. Oh, yeah. 
And but then again, the colors of the clothing are pretty vibrant and yeah. poppy already. Well, maybe you could, maybe that's a good, that's a good call. Keep with that. I know what you're trying to go for that, like odor green color they use a yeah. lot, right? Then maybe do you, can you dirty up the clothing, you know? Not a bad idea. Not a bad That'd idea. That'd be a quick way to do it. Yep. Oh my goodness. Good to see everybody in chat. Thanks for joining today. Who was what here with us? Burn it? Who's, who's new today? I'd love to see who's new today in our uh, chat because I see a few good na new names in there. This is looking fun, dude. Yeah. So would you just burn it to make it darker? Or would you draw? Or yeah, add maybe even it? like add noise. Do um add I, I gosh I mean. In the, in the, <laughs> what would the, you do if you only had ten minutes left? Yeah. In the, <laughs> I'd literally add the noise, burn it a little bit, like you know, like gosh, I mean, maybe over. Oh, there you go. Just adding like those like stains. Yeah, I'm just trying to see what that I can might do. be a cool idea. Some soft light, bounce this down. Just kind of get some sweat stains going. I don't know if I can do this to all of them. Maybe we have to yeah. go in this direction real quick. I know. And it's okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. I think uh, I think we found the one to end with today. It's going to be Andrew's uh, new one called a Phil Collins scented air called in the air tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's great. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So I feel like it needs a little bit of like an outer glow on this type, just to kind of maybe a little, little darker the... too, like that. You know yeah, that I'm thinking good. of like when you see those commercials and it's like something's destroying the odor. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Love I can that. give it a little bit of an outer glow that is like bubble that. gum flavor. That mm -hmm. oh, if they made a bubble gum canned air, yeah, I'd be buying that. That's one no, of my favorites. No, 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 no. That's just no. that's just one of my favorite scents. I don't know what it is. Nope. So artificial, but so good. <laughs> so funny. Oh, Christine, yesterday it was your very first live stream on Behance. It was fun. Did you actually do one, Christine? I'm assuming no, I think you... she's hanging out. Oh. I think. Tell us, tell us, Christine, because I know uh, I know a lot of friends who are now doing it themselves on uh now that Behance allows that beta where you can go oh, on true, there and do true, it true. yourself. You know? Ooh, yeah, you're getting the stinky vibes in there for sure, man. That looks Try really good. Let's see here. Spread size. That looks probably all pretty good. Yep. I don't know if Jitter's going to add anything right now. So I think maybe that's okay. And then I'll yep. add in just a little bit of like um, some brush textures yep. um, as well below to kind of give a little bit of like a, a little bit of grit coming off of it. Oh, yeah, exactly. I saw, oh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, let's see here. Brushes. <laughs> Wood polish smell. Oh, that'll knock, that'll knock you out. That'll knock you out. Nope, too bright. Oh, uh, I, I think Christine's asking, what do you mean by do it yourself? Uh, they, you can now do your own uh, stream on uh, Behance. If you're working on a project, uh, it's a beta thing, but you can get on there and it'll be on your Behance channel. Oh, dude, yes, you're Whoop. killing it with this. And that's gonna help dirty up those little spots. Yeah, there. maybe do some brown ones too of that same that same stamp. Do you think it needs to just stay confined to a, kind of the, around the logo or do you think it needs to be just thrown on everything? I think you gotta hit some of those at the, thinking of the cans only gonna have like this section here, maybe a bunch at the bottom on that on the, the clean clothes that you're seeing there. There you go. Loving that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pine salt scent. Yes. Another one of my favorites. <laughs> it means you, someone's clean, you know? I'm feeling so confident right now that I'm even just labeling some of my layers. That's how wow. I am. Wow. In, in, even in a 15 minute like speed zone, this guy. <laughs> really this just because awesome. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to lose something. <laughs> <laughs> I, you got to get a, I would do a bit of brown of that same stamp and just give it some dirt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out why it's not showing up where I want it to on like, why is it? Oh, it's because it's underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Shauna has a good one. Hair, like H apostrophe air of the dog. The scent of a night after shame. <laughs> you missed our dog, uh, our puppy breath. Yeah. Puppy breath yesterday. That was a good one. Another one, a scent you can, uh, can't can quite place the smell of, uh, but it's not pleasant, called Airbnb. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Yeah, that wet dog scent. Man's not so best friend. All right, so we have Let's three, see. two Ooh. or three minutes left, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. So we are at, what time did we start this one at? Tw uh, uh, Was it 12.15? 12? 
12, yeah. I think it was 12, yeah, about 12, 15 ish or so, okay. I think. Yeah. So you're at 12, 20. You got, I'd give you about five more minutes. You're almost okay. Done. I'm All one right. of those. I'm, I'm that art director. That's just, I'm thinking of the next thing. And if we could save a little time. So gracious. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> Perfect. This looks great, dude. Yeah. That's a fun one. Let me see if Kyle has some other splatter patterns I can use. Nice. Did you test this yet on the can just to see uh, any final changes? No, Nick, we're doing this live, man. Uh, Come just, on. just saying. <laughs> just saying. I think you, because I think I agree with Christine. Maybe the text can go a little bit bigger and even like overlap that that fuchsia dress on the top a little bit. You know? Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? I have just such a weird thing about bounding boxes and where I, I place things. I, I'm the same way. I think everyone has their comfort zones. And like, I always admire when I see people d like doing that. Like I wouldn't technically do it. I would tell someone like, hey, try it. <laughs> yeah, but am, try I, it. am I practicing that? No, not at all. <laughs> try it because I don't want to say that I, it's not going to work, but I think you yeah. would. Yeah, I try, I've, I've been trying it. I've been trying it. Yeah. Oh, yes, Andrew. That is, that's going to be, that is the final one. We, we have your final can for today. Okay. Yes. It's the office hours airs. Oh, that's going to be Ooh. a good one. <laughs> I guess it depends on who you work with. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm doing that. Here we go, dude. Yeah, this looks great. I'm trying to think of like, what else can I do with it? Like I'm not. What about a overall br like brown grade, like brown to white gradation in the back or some just yeah, something yeah. to help draw in the, um, you know, you got a few Good more minutes. Idea. Yeah. What if the lower corner went into the text lower corner? Oh, there you go, dude. Yeah. You're getting some, this is fun. That was pretty neat. Maybe or that two, one. maybe. Yeah. That one looks good. The maybe clothes is the clothes got dirty on that. I like that. Hmm. Keep the, keep the white background. Yeah, great idea. You can just do a clean laundry one, and all of a sudden, all your all your clothes is just folded nice and clean and stacked at the bottom. <laughs> like true. part two, right? I love that. That looks great, dude. I feel like the 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 logo what? itself needs to get a little bit browner now to like kind of match it. Yeah, just a tad, and I think you, you. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Browner is my new word of the day. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There you go. It's getting there. Now the over the outer glow needs to get nudged down as well. Mm -hmm. Whoa! 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 What's whoa. going on here? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't tell you you could do that's that. extra dirty, muddy laundry. There yeah. you go. Holy moly! Maybe this is okay if I just turn maybe yeah. The <laughs> There's always cancel or undo. So what? Either one. I think that looks good. You got the now it has like more of a gritty dark shadow behind it, which looks good. Yeah. Let's see. Here we go, Let's guys. See. Let's see the final. It's it's so white. Maybe it needs the drops to kind of mask Ooh. it. There you go. That makes it look way go. more dirty. Nice, nice. That helps the white on white, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. That what's the next good. can? Let's call okay. this one. Perfect. You're 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 good. We're saving that. On to the next one. <laughs> we did one it. down. Like a minute to spare. <laughs> <laughs> one down. Let's take a look back at our list. I think we had. We had some pretty good ones. I'm going to scroll through some of those uh, those other ones we had here. We had the wood polish smell. We had bubble gum. We had... Uh, you can do a bubble gum real quick. We had put your hands in the air, air, air. <laughs> like you just don't care. We had in the air tonight. Uh, uh, let's see. Bubble gum would be kind of fun. I let's think do that's a bubble good. gum. Yeah. Uh, cool. Just because it's for you, you know? That's what I'm going to do. Perfect, man. Just can, can I write the tagline too? Of let's course. Think, let's think. Okay. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to do a little research on my own, find out some, some good ones here. So what, so now what you're doing is, you, oh, obviously get some, get a good font in there. Something I've got cool. to, I mean, I can't now that you're the, the client also. It's like, you got to get one of those ones that looks like it, it was like inflated, you know? Oh man, you're gonna make me source you, a font. <laughs> get on a get, get on out. Get on Adobe Adobe font. See what you. I'm sure you find something. Let's see. If I can type fonts.adobe.com correctly. <laughs> see here, bubble. Let me type in bubble. Uh, Let's see. That first one's kind of 
kind of funky. Bubblegum pop. I mean, ooh, the outline version's kind of cool. Um, that one could work. Either one, dude, or that highlighted one. I like. What do you think of the highlighted one? Yeah, it could work. I mean, Let's it's try for it. you, Nick. So if Let's it looks bad it, at the end of the day, I don't want you to not talk to me again. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? It's called bubblegum pop, of course. Got it. Got to got to please those clients, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Strong referral. <laughs> bubblegum pop. Love it. Hmm. The G is kind of hard to read. <laughs> it is, huh? Maybe. How about low, uh, uh, lowercase? Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, do the whole thing in lowercase, maybe. Uh, how's that B look in, in a lower? Oh, yeah, you got it already there. You like that? Yeah. I think maybe a couple, I don't know. Maybe it's bubble yum. Ooh, yeah. God, dude, we should open a design studio. <laughs> it's, it's almost <laughs> like we should just merge. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes, our we don't have will be your design in 15 minutes or less. Yeah. <laughs> Christine's asking if we have that pop button yet in, in Illustrator. Not quite yet. We actually talked to the devs and they said that they're adding it. There, it's, it's coming. Soon. Yeah. yeah. Adobe, Adobe Max 2021. Yeah. Just kidding. It's not <laughs> legally binding. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah. The pop button would be a very fun, um, a very fun soda can, but yeah, our, uh, not really a smell involved there. So when you think about bubblegum, yes, I feel like I want something that's kind of like three D spherical. Totally. Yes. Yes. Um, gosh, for the imagery we're talking about, right? Or are you talking yeah. about the? And then the logo. Why don't you? Uh, you know, if you did yum, if you justify it, you could do that sphere thing, kind of make it like a circle. The whole type treatment. Mm. You could do that. Mm. Um, you could do the upper and lower arc in envelopes distort and kind of turn it from this to like a circular feet, uh, circular piece. That'd be kind of good. Like that or something. Are we talking about even get further inflated? Bubble Yum? Bin? Yep. So, but yeah, someone brought up a good point. Bubble Yum is a name of a brand. Obviously, maybe it's a maybe it's a uh, it's a tie in. It's this maybe it's a, a canned air. Yeah. <laughs> It's not bubblegum. <laughs> Whatever. We're going to have fun with it. Yeah. That's why we're it's here. It's just for Nick. Yep. Come on. How, how do you know I don't call him bubblegum? <laughs> <laughs> new, new nickname. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. It's Could be... You could try a few different things. I know Andrew was saying use type with a circle uh, and make an envelope distort with the top object. You could do that as well. Or you could do- uh, Oh, you're saying like type? Yeah, two separate type lines, right? And take bubble and do an, uh, an envelope distort. You can do a- oh, okay, um, okay, yeah. You can do a upper curve. And then with yum, you can do a bottom curve. So they're, they have the same baseline. That might be a quick way to do it. Um, like this, go up. Yep, and then you could do the uh, Arc upper. Up. Yep, or you could do. Uh, I think they have a uh, arc upper, so you're not messing with the bottom. Yeah, so there it is, arc upper. There oh. you go. There you go. So now you're keeping the baseline, and then yum, you just do the opposite. Wow, look at that chat. We're learning together. Man, there we go. You can mess around a little bit, right? There you go. It adds a nice little fun character to it. You know, yes. what kind of, okay. So while he's finishing this up chat, what's the image, what's the background? Uh, obviously you can That's do bubble gum, one. but, uh, we'll have to do a little Adobe, um, stock kind of search here, but what kind of, what's a good, what'd be a great creative idea here? Cause it's, you don't really think of anything too specific. Bubble gum has its own flavor and own smell, right? Like it's not like it's based on anything particular. Maybe it is. I just don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> never thought I'd be testing my bubble my bubble gum uh, uh, expertise. Oh, there you go. Fun stuff, dude. That looks good. Um, yeah, I, I'm thinking like if I had enough time, I would. Yeah, I would build something in um, dimension with spheres and yeah. use perspective yeah. and things. Have you tried the 3D type in um, dimension? I have. I did kind a- Kind of fun, man. I did a 36 days of type or whatever. Whoa. 
on my Behance and it's, let's see here. 36 days of type. This was brutal. I tried to build type in oh my every gosh. single kind of way. That is fantastic, mention. dude. It was, wow. I don't recommend doing this. That's fantastic. <laughs> was, oh, you probably, such... you probably pulled your hair out a few times. Like that's like, like getting that creative. Great daily stuff. Daily challenges are so hard, man. Love it. So I would probably do something like, um, let's see here. Let's see what bubbles or yeah. balls. I don't know if this is going to be a correct term. Uh, bouncy balls. There you go. Ooh, what are we going to get? Let's see. So yeah, I was kind of like hoping that I could like have something kind of like that kind of in space. Oh yeah. Perspective. Or even, I even forget about the, um, like the typical uh, bubblegum machine uh, where they're multicolored rather than all in that like one color pink. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Almost that, but like mm -hmm. the background or something. Let's see here. I might be able to look up gumballs. Thing. Look up gumballs. Oh, look. Come. So smart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> see. Uh, gumballs. It would help if I spelt that correctly. There's a reason why I am a designer and not a linguist. <laughs> these are pretty good though. These, like, these are great, are like, man. I'm trying to figure out how would I. Oh, there's a good one with the, you got the one with the blue background with their, their the this, the this gums is what I want. Face. Which one? The, I ah. got this guy. What I wanted to have was a nice separation of like foreground and background without having to distort it yes. myself. There you go. And look, um, Adobe Sensei has probably done that for you. <laughs> that's cool, man. That's a great shot. Yeah. And there might be a better one, but let's see. Let's see what we can get. Oh, yeah. And I love that blurred top because now you can have some fun with the type treatment up there. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Okay. All right, chat. We need a tagline for this one. What is the tagline for our bubble yum canned air that smells like bubble gum keep it clean <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. i'm gonna can i make this in a command shift o does that outline it correctly command shift o it should make an outline right create yep a, a, a command shift o why did it work you expand one? it first because you put it in the envelope distort so Object oh, there you go. And now it should be, it should be outlined for you already. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Shauna says the tagline, it doesn't last long. <laughs> we got it's popping. That's a good one. What else you guys got? It works, but only for a minute. Those are good. Yep. You're right. Because it's like, it's, it's so typical, right? The, the, the taste goes away. Smell of childhood. I like that. <laughs> What's popping the flavor that doesn't linger. Yeah, or catch it while you can. <laughs> that looks good. This almost feels like like you could have lips kind of silhouetting it even. Oh, wow. Totally do that with that. Uh, let's just see. Actually, let me just throw it on white so I don't have to do a color overlay on that. Cool. Yeah, give it a color now. Let's see here. Perfect. And what did you say the tagline was? Uh, we've got what's popping, the flavor that doesn't linger, um, catch it while you can. Uh, uh, it's popping, it works but only for a minute. Don't blow it. <laughs> don't blow it, that's funny, that's a good that's one. That's a good one, I like that. It smells okay, then it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this real quick. What else we got? Let's see. Cool. God, it's already given. Uh, it's funny how quickly you get the vibe just by seeing the, the good type treatment with a nice kind of image. All of a sudden the vibe's already there. Looks good. It's the goal. It's the goal. Yeah, man. That's the Let's goal. Let's see if we can just bump this up so it feels, so I don't have to go into Photoshop. Ah, yeah. Actually, Ooh, I could do a, like a, the uh, inflate. Yeah, the bloat tool. Yep. Maybe I just. Ooh, what's it gonna do? Whoa! Or maybe Very do you nice. think blow needs to be blown, like kind of? Blown yeah. Oh yeah, like it's the it's been inflated a little bit. Yeah, rather than just the center of it. Let's Love it. That. that looks great. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. 
Look at that. Talk about customized, man. This looks uh, great. It's close. How many more minutes do we have? Uh, I'm going to give you, gosh, you're almost there. Five, five more minutes. Okay. All right. We're going to be done with this one at 1240. Keep an eye on the clock if we miss, if we miss that. No. He's got five more minutes to wrap this one up. Yeah, if I miss it, get your pitchforks. <laughs> <laughs> create outlines. What I'm going to do here is actually, I could just do a type on path too. Oh yeah. That's always a good show. Do that real quick. Okay. This is fun. For those of you who are like, I always get asked, especially in circles, how are you doing on paths and stuff like that? To me, this is like the, one of the funnest ways to just add that little character to it, you know? So you just build out a path, click mm -hmm. the type path and you type right on it. Obviously it's sized way too big. It's perfect. <laughs> it's gonna go down to like 12. Okay, that looks great. And I love the way it's like, it's already kind of following the yum, the bottom there. That looks Yeah, great. that was the goal and I'll, right? I'll kind of massage it a little bit closer to it. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't Jack's, want it to Jack's be- got a, Jack's got a good, a good uh, suggestion for the next one. And just to honor Australia, we're gonna call it the down under. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. And then that's cool too. You can obviously edit your curve and make it even work better once you have it next to the art you're trying to kind of match it to. Looks great. Yeah, that way it's kind of like matching it, but it's not yeah. too like competing with it. Like you just got enough there that it's wrapping around that Y nicely, but then it, it does have a little life on its own, you know? It doesn't have to match perfectly. That looks yeah. good. The O and the N kerning is driving me crazy. Four minutes. Okay. <laughs> Got it. All right, ship it. All right, grabbing it. Ship it. <laughs> Why? Here we go. Nice. Maybe, uh, what else can you, can you give it a little, hmm, a quick, you got three minutes to give the type a little treatment. I'm, in, I'm not saying like make it pop, but what can you do? Make it pop. What, what could you do? Yeah, get it, make this it pop. This is the like most perfect example of make it pop. Yes, pretty much. Cause I, I, we're, we've got pop everywhere on this one. Let's see, does it need it? Hmm, just even a drop, even a little drop shadow to it. Might just okay. to help, just to help separate it from the- um, Oh baby, come look on. Look at that. That's- Wow, could be one of my favorites, dude. Can we just spend the next three minutes just admiring Just looking it? at it? <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true creative. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's do a drop shadow. See what yeah, happens. just give it a little. There we go. Layer style. First quick way to do it. Um, where are you? There you go. There we go. Probably do a little bit of like a pink in the background. Yeah. Dang. There we go. That's looking Purple. good. Dude, um, I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, good. Because that's for you. So yeah, I love it. If you didn't gonna, like it, I'd be very sad. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making a sample of this. Perfect. Thank you. I'm just gonna fill it with a ton of gumballs and it'll, it'll be bubble yum air. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, looks so good. I love it. I love it, dude. That looks great. That you you picked a really good one because I do like the way that goes out of focus. Now you have all that real estate to really have fun and put some stuff up there like that. This looks yeah. great. I'm happy with that. Dude, I love it. All, all right. right. Next one. Next one. Take a look at your uh, list. If you guys have a uh, one that you haven't put in yet, give us another idea of the next canned air smell. If you've just joined us or you're just new to our stream here, uh, Alex is doing a quick design sprint of just getting a ton of different ideas down for these fictitious canned air ideas. We're doing yeah. packaging. The whole goal here is to try to get as many as we can. We did about five yesterday. The goal is to get as many as we can today. Uh, and towards the end, we're going to see if we have some time to drop this in and show a little dimension uh, uh, kind of demo there as well, right? Yeah. Perfect. So we got this. So we are on two already with 40 minutes into the show. So we're, we're crushing it. We're on time. Yeah. We're doing good. Um, what else are we going to do? Ooh, Behancent, the official scent of Adobe Live. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that almost like reminds me of the like, uh, like enhanced memes, like yes. Enhancent. Yes, like, exactly. We've got uh, the school lunch room. That's a good one. Oof. Uh, Stinky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depends on where you went to school, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? Oh, here? we still have Seller's Choice, too. But oh, yeah. What, what yeah, else do you one. have, Chat? Air we Jordans. Have, oh, my God. Air gosh, Jordans, that's... the scent of pro athlete foot. 
<laughs> seller's choice is kind of fun because I think this could be a nice woodsy, like dark wood, like almost like what a basement seller would look like, you know? Yeah. A wine cellar, that could be good. Just copying the voodoo Val over there, just so there I have go. it. That's so good. Yeah, that Eric Jordan. Pro athlete's foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Thunder um, from down under, air down what? under, kangaroo foot. <laughs> oh, God, this is great. It's getting wild down there in chat. <laughs> Yeah. What, are, you know, what else? What else you got? What else? Let's so we do solid choice right now, but I want you to line up the next one. Yes. So yeah. As they come in. Yeah. Let's see here. I would go with. Let's see. What Pretty hard got? to. F For font, maybe something in a. What if you did like a black letter style? You know, like. I think that got might this look really maybe. dark. That, that's a tough crazy one. Yeah. Looking one. I would well, say it doesn't like, need just, to be legible. <laughs> Make that a let's see. I mean, it would that work? Let's see. Tacos just because I'm hungry. Diego, what's up, dude? That's a good one. We'll we'll have to do something taco. So we'll do Taco Tuesday as a as a good taco one. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> uh, do what do you think? Is that that's a little it's a it's very condensed, huh? It's a tough one to read. Yeah, it is. But I got it for that reason, but I don't think it's for this because we want something kind of vintagey for this. Yeah. We always have this, which everybody uses. It's like Ooh. one of the most overused. That's on my do not use list. <laughs> exactly. Algerian. So, so let's let's make it a challenge. Can you make it work? I think you can, Alex. I think you can. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Got Dude, if that movie Drive can bring Mistral, the worst script font ever, to the forefront, you could do it with this one. Come on. All right. Bro. All right, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Air mattress, that's a good one. I like that. All right, 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. All right, so we are at 1242. What am I doing? I'm going to, let's, let's I, I think you could do this by one. I think you could do this by one. Yeah, I think so. You got this one. You got let's this. Let's see here. Okay, so we are doing seller's choice, correct? Let let's go super literal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of like dungeony, cavernous. Yes. Oh, God. God, man, too many to choose from here. <laughs> oh, oh no. Wood barrel. Let's, Let's see if I can find a wood barrel. Oh, yes. Like, if I can find it, yeah, that actually, we're going with it. Yeah. Oh, okay. What All are you right. thinking? I'm thinking the can itself will be a wood barrel. Yes. There you and go. And then I'm going to just like, brandish the barrel nice so the idea is to kind of warp the barrel to the size of the can like as much as, as best as you can to the as edges best as i can there you go i love when that optic you can optically um make something you know obviously making a can that is this shape is going to be mega expensive right <laughs> worth so, <it. laughs> yeah but worth it right yeah exactly I, oh I, I god i might even just present that to one of my clients what a great idea yeah but this That's idea, kind of there you go. Look at look at all of a sudden, just by placing that in the right spot, you've got the it, it has the warp on those metal bands, and that that's all you need. Yep. That looks fantastic. Ooh, Golden Rose is saying there needs to be a spider web somewhere on that seller's choice. <laughs> that would make it feel really old and and dusty. So yeah, it's kind of close. I need to probably just distort it more, but yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, just like expand the um, like with the sphere, you can do that sphere filter. Um, maybe it's just placement because I think you got a good enough arc there. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like if I just make it bigger, I'll probably yeah. If I can get rid of the top and silver, yeah, bottom rings. What do you think? I would even darken it a bit just so you get it a little more rustic, mm -hmm. and then whatever. Yeah, that way you get some good contrast with the the type treatment as well. That bottom ring translates really well to the bottom of the can. There you go. All right. So you're saying dark in which parts of it? Oh, just the whole thing. Like the dark, like a darker wood, maybe darker metal. Got just it. the whole, yeah, yeah. just so you get like, uh, now you'll have, because I know someone's going to say, make the type treatment pop. So <laughs> there. I wonder uh, who that might be. There it goes. <laughs> yeah. So just adjust the curves there. to kind Perfect. of get some of the levels. Love it. Oh curve. yeah. Now we're getting, now we're getting those seller vibes. That's cool, looking cool, good. Cool, cool, cool. All right. All so right. Then we've got this. So we're going to head back. Now we're going to look at some of that type. 
what else we got? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So I've got Algeria, which is what I got to use, unfortunately. Oh. Um, I would suggest thanks doing. Thanks so much for that, by the way. <laughs> Why don't you? Do, you got to use that because that A and R just are the signature, you know, of that font. When you see that A or the R, you know it's that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What if you did like sellers with like the curved arc at the bottom and then maybe choice, take another font, you know? Oh, you think so? Oh, okay. Yeah, switch, sw switch it up. I kind of like the idea even that you had. That Fonts are free. <laughs> Fonts are free. <laughs> With Not your paid one. subscription. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, man, I need to be sponsored by uh, part of the design, you know, whenever we merge. Yes. You funding all of my typefaces. There you go. No problem. We'll, sh we'll share that Dropbox folder. <laughs> exactly. Seller's choice. Let's see here. There you go. This. So for you guys now, uh, we are at that tagline stage. What's our tagline for seller's choice? So this is that damp, musty smell when you head down to like a cellar or a basement, right? It might be an old wine, wine area, you name it, distillery. What's the smell? Or what's, I'm sorry, what's the tagline? What's the tagline? There I you like go. it with the ribbon a little bit. Yeah. Uh... Well, that seems to work. Is there, do I need to, no, kind of keep it centered, right? Yeah, and because your, uh, your, your uh, pendant kind of thing works together nicely there. <laughs> Must have, M-U-S-T-H, <laughs> <laughs> a barrel of flavors. That's a good one. What else do you guys got? Air aged to perfection. I like that. Let's see. Do we have, do I want to make a banner? Is the question like a flag? Ooh, dude, he's going into overtime. Uh, he's still got 13 minutes. That's good. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd give you a little, like, ah, oh, he could do this. He could do this. This I'm is like, working. Hey, Nick, can you just pass, like, <laughs> pass over the pasta yeah. file? Real quick? Oh, the pasta abilities. <laughs> <laughs> If, if, if it all fails, we can we could be a copywriting team, my friend. <laughs> exactly. For the uh, I mean, for the Veloce, you did the flag, right? Yeah, the, that's right. Pasta. Oh yes, I could just hang. Yeah, I, this is this would be a great collaboration, man. Just have a few things, throw it in a, a library. Have be you, a have series. You, that'd be <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Seller's choice, not your first choice. <laughs> that's a good oh one. Gosh. Oh. That's a good one. There's some great ones here. Okay. Pairs well with lungs, the finest robust must. Abandoned long enough to be good. Nice. I'm doing a really bad job of making ribbons right now. This is good. <laughs> no, I think it, you got it right on there, dude. That looks great. <laughs> and there's got to be a big curve or a, let's see. Yep. There you go. Looking good. So nerve wracking doing the pen tool on stream. It's the I worst. I know what you feel. <laughs> oh my god, I stay. I stay clear of that. That's when everyone goes. Hmm. Now we can really see Alex's talents. Yeah. How, how is wow. he with the pen tool? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, dude. Is that like? I don't know if that's enough though, but we'll see. It looks good. Looks good. Why is this not turning white? I always take. I would take the 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 total shortcut on that and I'd outline seller's choice and then I'd uh, offset path it a little bit and <laughs> give myself cheat sheets for like oh, making that flag. Smart. That looks good. That looks really good. Good. Uh, a waft of stale ale. That's a good one. That might be our, that may be our good one there. Ah, there you go. So you almost got to like italicize, reverse italic the seller's choice a little bit. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Just a ah. bit. Oh. Reverse italic the seller, so like the choice? Slant or? it. I think they got to, you got to slant your type a little bit to, to match the, you see how you have those parallels with your, um, with your flag that goes along with the, the pole. Yeah. So if you take seller's choice and maybe skew it, slant it a little bit to the left, 
Oh, I like that. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. So just to get your um, just trying to get those uh, verticals to match a little bit more of the flag. Uh, I see. I see. I see. Yeah, there you go. What do you, you got? Ten minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we can just abandon this direction. <laughs> Actually, I feel like it needs to not be like a, a double. A double AM. Yeah. It needs to just be a. There you go. Single, and then that will help kind of smooth things out a little bit. <laughs> There's a good one. Smells bad, tastes worst. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Give oh, your man. cheese a challenge. I don't like this now. <laughs> Undo it. Undo it. <laughs> I don't like any of it. Any suggestions, guys? Uh, no, you, you, you had it there, dude. I think right there, dude, forget my, my slanting it. You got it. No, I think you're right. I, I like it. There's Maybe there's something else to do. Maybe it's not a flag. Or, or typically, too, like build, building your text with a square and then doing the envelope distort, distort to the whole thing gives your flag the same it gives it all the same kind of vibe, you know? Hmm. Maybe, maybe the flag comes kind of down here. Ooh. Let's see what else we got here. Um, try to get a good, solid tagline. finest robust must i like that <laughs> the <laughs> finest robust must <laughs> that looks great there you go all right you have eight minutes i think i'm gonna just finish this up pour it in the thing and say <laughs> yeah, say say smart object do your job <laughs> you know, save me make my mock-up look better <laughs> exactly <laughs> when all else fails put it on a mock-up yeah, pro tip <laughs> Uh, pro tip as you're growing in your design career find really good <laughs> mock-ups or build your own <laughs> maybe there that's okay go. Uh, maybe that there you go there. perfect get in that let's type out a tagline and, and make it make it make it oh, sing, we have baby. to do a tagline still yeah <laughs> so we had we had a few there, but we had uh, smells bad, taste worst, uh, a pleasant bouquet, a waft of stale ale. That's a good one. It was a very good year. You could say it was a very bad year. <laughs> I like the waft of a uh, stale ale. Perfect. There you go. That seems nice. All right. Got seven minutes. Okay. It's looking good. I don't need that much time no, now. Oh my God. You you just need five. <laughs> <laughs> I need to figure out the, uh, maybe I'll just take this and strip out these points here and type on path. Oh, uh, what a shortcut. Look at this guy. Perfect. Let's see here. Let's throw it down 21. Well, too small. 72. Yep. Cool. Perfect. Perfect. It's feeling good, man. Musty, crusty, and a little dusty. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> That's a great one. Ooh, look at you breaking the rules. Tagline on tagline on top. Who is this guy? <laughs> I know. I'm just making my own thing. <laughs> That's great. There you go. It actually kind of works. Now this guy needs to get shrunk down. Mm-hmm. But also, this needs to kind of come down here. Ah! Oh, the overlapping points. There you go. Excellent. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. I think, you, yeah, I think, yeah. Let's just keep them on the bottom there. I think you're, you're golden. Let's see here. Oh, no. Come on, point. I was all confident in everything about I know, not needing you, I that know, time. Dude. And now look at you. You're just blowing the minutes away. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Mr. Confident with that. I got six minutes. I'm Easy. good. Nope. You do have six minutes, by the way. <laughs> I think I think that's probably as close. Oh, my goodness. That, I, I'm, it's a lockup. Let's go. 
Ah! <laughs> it's just not wanting to cooperate. There you go. Maybe do a, uh, let's see. Perfect. That looks good, dude. Cool. Good, good enough. There you go. So you got a dark, what do you think? Maybe like, what do you think? Like a gold or a, maybe the lightest of that gray. Maybe burn it in. Oh, like, no. oh you want to burn it We're in. We're going right? to have to warp it again. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I was thinking about burning it in, and I can't tell if it needs to go up there or You could try, here. like, the uh, in the uh, the bevel thing, you can do it where it looks like it's kind of engraved. So oh, that's look, a good point. You know, you can try the uh, the bevel under layer styles. That looks cool. Yeah, overlay is not a bad mm -hmm. choice either. Let's see if we can do a, a bevel style on it as well. And then yeah. do uh, inner bevel, I think, is the right yep. way. And then chiseled, maybe. There you go. Probably have to just make it a bit bigger to see if it, you know, there it goes. And, uh, make it pop, Alex, make it pop. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Add a cork. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, yep. Highlight should probably be a little lower. Uh, They're all saying, burn it in, Alex, burn it in. Burn it in, really? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the uh, new make it pop. Burn yeah. it. <laughs> burn it, just burn it all. <laughs> There right, you let's go. just see where it let's looks see like what, let's see what we got. How are we looking? Um, not bad. Not bad. It's just kind of like I would raise the whole. I'd raise everything to get the uh, to show a little more of the ring at the bottom and less yeah. of the one on the top, okay. just so it's centered. But um, dude, okay, four, you got you got four minutes. You still got four minutes. Oh, good. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. Let me see how I can burn yeah. through those minutes real fast. Uh, yeah, Austin oh, was closer. saying maybe white text. I think that I think you got to go with the darker. I think it kind of to me it feels like one that's been branded in there. It feels older and aged. I think like a lighter color could be might throw it off a little bit. I agree. So I'm I'm good with that. Yep. How do you feel about that? Is that I'm, good? I'm good, man. I, All right, right out Ship of a, it. Looks right <laughs> out of a new craft brewery, man. You've given me an idea. I think I might have to steal this one. I love All it. Right. <laughs> That's fine. As long as we get royalties, you know, that's fine. All right, we're at one o'clock. Good. We've got we've got like uh, a few good ideas that we're still brewing. If anybody has a new canned air smell, something we need a good one here. We need a doozy. What do we got? We can go back. To, I think you had one or two extras that were still going strong on the AI page. Yep. Um, let's see. Yeah. A lot of good suggestions coming through, but I think we're we're, we're doing the time thing. We're, we got to get these things done, man. Next one, you had a what was the one you were digging that you were? Let's see, we get we did the bubble yum. We got the seller's cho seller's choice. Um, what else? Like yeah, we metal. got hopes and dreams was cool. Hopes Luminaire was cool. That could be a little because we've done some dark ones. We could do like that could be along the lines of the bubble gum one. Um, what else, guys? Give us give us some good ideas. We. We got a few here, but I think I know I know I know our team here in chat can, can do something a little bit more clever. What do we got? Absolutely. Oh, Let's the Air Jordans yeah. one too. That was a good one for sure. Ooh, How do you do thinking. that without? Who actually? Guess, yeah. Could you make? Could you? Can you do a pun on that? Maybe instead of Jordan, another word. Um, you know what I mean? Just so it's like it's a pun on the word, but not the the actual one. Let's see. Got some good, yeah, some great pictures there. Yeah, I was trying to Particularly, see if there was like something like this that was kind of like air like. Yeah, like it's just swoosh right in there. Mm -hmm. Crown jewels, the down under. What else do we got? Need a good smell. <laughs> Thought I'd never be saying that on live streams <laughs> happy smells it's, happy smells it's five o'clock Ooh, what is five yeah that's a kind of neat one what does five o'clock smell like ham sandwich <laughs> traffic i guess <laughs> traffic yeah i mean five or is it five, you know it's the the five o'clock drink hour you can do that true down bellows ham i like ham sandwich that's a good one um geez flower shop that's kind of nice flower shop okay oh we can do Something floral. I'm fine with the yeah. floral thing. What else? I think yes. we could pull some really cool photos real quick for that. Ooh, let's look at photos and see if any of those inspire maybe the name. So we're going to go with the floral route, guys. 
He's going to pop up a few pictures here. Let's see what we got. Maybe it's like, you know, gosh. Air cordon, cordon blue. That's a good one. So for this, I want to do this image. Cool. I need a name though. I like that. Yeah. So we've got an image now. Uh, what are those? What would you say that is? Like a... What, I wish like a that pink... I was more in tune with my <laughs> botany. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, plastic flowers. Flower shop. The scent of fresh bread. Oh, but for nah. this, I want to use whatever it is that we're doing for names. Ooh, flower, flower power. That's a cool idea. Flower power. I like that. I That's great. The Good one, Marsha. Welcome. You're in. We're going power. flower power. Hair. Flower power. Where? No. Nope. Does that make sense? No. Power air. <laughs> power air. <laughs> power air. <laughs> flower power. I think this, you don't have to have the pun in there. I think just. Getting, getting, maybe the pun could be in the, um, in the, uh, uh, tagline for sure. Ooh, dude, you're, you're done in two minutes. Look at you. Oh, I know. That's ready. <laughs> tagline for flower power. Yep. Hippie vibes, good vibes only. What else can we do? A, we need a good tagline. Maybe the tagline could just be written just normal underneath that F of flower, you know? What do you think too? Like I sometimes like that to me looks very decorative. It matches it, but then I always ask about readability. What do you think? Excuse me, I had a sneeze. Uh, readability, <laughs> schmeedability. We're schmeedability. going for, <laughs> We're going for, for speed. For yes. Aesthetics right now. Good. Okay. Definitely got the aesthetics going there. I dig that. What do we got? Uh, we need a tagline for flower power, the canned air that smells like beautiful cannon flowers. Simple as that. Boom. Stop and smell the roses. That's a good one. That is a good one. <clears throat> Stop and smell. Uh, Let me see what I can do with, what do I have that can pair with that? Ooh, good luck. Pair with that font? <laughs> yeah. Probably, gosh, anything that has, I like those slight serifs, you know, like that one. That's kind of cool. This is a beauty uh, of a typeface as well. It's a variable. So I can just go in and like <laughs> fully get wide with it. Yeah. Readability is quite the debate right now in chat. I love it. <laughs> I love I just, it. I just trigger everybody. I, like, <clears throat> I knew, gosh, I knew, no. I knew Andrew, Andrew and I disagree on a few things like that. I'm so total cliche and he's like, break the barriers. <laughs> For sure. I know. So we're breaking the, we're breaking the barriers here. I love I it. I mean, or, I mean, but this is concept. Real. This is fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, if you don't, if you don't break the barriers, you got nothing new. You know. There you. Maybe we would just say stop and smell. Yeah. Like That's really hinted at the idea that taste the nature. <laughs> taste. <laughs> I like stop and smell. That's really great. So everybody knows kind of that. I don't want the whip, actually. I want the whip to be kind of down, but I want the Ooh, weight up. Ampersand, ampersand. Oh, you're smart. <laughs> Always helps. Slant, let's do no slant. Width, okay. Fragrant flavors. just track That's it good. out. Tickle your taste buds. Scratch and sniff. I like that. That could be just a can. You know? That could be the next can. That's true. <laughs> it could be a cat can yeah exactly <laughs> that's cool so this you've got a variable font there right yep so i could control the width that i'll show that better yeah Again, show that it's that. at the top so i can do like a full let me just zoom in on it actually and technically variable is going to be in your font name before you, that's how you know for sure it does that correct correct yeah it needs to be yeah. a variable typeface not all of them do this but uh you can now so. And this is neat because this isn't cheating. This is actually like it, it takes into consideration the thin and thick lines, um, you know, the proportion of it. So when you get, and I'm assuming some of these are on Adobe fonts, right? Some are, this yeah. one is not. This gotcha. Is They're purchase. slowly showing up on all these different areas where you can get them. What a great, particularly for like a brand font. It's so nice to have that flexibility with a font, you know, and be able to almost create your own versions of them. I That's mean, great. yeah, you just can like really 
own it and own yes. that look. And for like a client, like especially businesses, like thinking through how they present themselves online and yes. you know all these different collateral pieces that brands touch these days. Yeah, being able to speak to that in a way that's kind of scalable. Mm -hmm. is and also too, if like, yeah, like that whole idea of like, if it doesn't have a bold enough version of it, you can make one, you know, real simple mm -hmm. and clean. This looks great. <clears throat> All right. Our flower power. You are, you're five like way ahead in. of schedule. You're for five that. minutes in and you're almost there. Yeah. We'll start taking like requests from the hotline. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, cool. So like, like what's, it, the, what's the next one? Do you want to, uh, let's see, how does it look on the can? I don't need to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> that is confidence beyond belief. I love it, Alex. <laughs> like talking to a client, you're like, you don't need to you see it. You don't even it. need to see it. This is a done deal. No, ah, sweet. beautiful. That do you feel great. like the logo needs to be shrunk down a little bit? And how are you feeling about it? The logo itself? You mean just the, the stack text there? The, the, um, yeah, the whole type. Is it fine or does it need to go up more I on think, the can? I think just technically like a tad up and then maybe uh, a few a few percentages down in size. I think you're right. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. We got time. Great. This will be your this will be your seven minute can, dude. This is Whoa. this is quick. There you go. Nice. Yeah, it's amazing whenever you're not trying to make a logo that's readable, what you can mm -hmm. do. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares if they're going to understand what you're trying to say? <laughs> yeah, Christine's like, I don't like the logo yep. font. Well, deal with it, Christine. <laughs> I'll make something better later. <laughs> totally. No, that's part of the process. It's yeah. like, yeah, this is, you know, unless it's like a super metal business, they're probably not going to be I, wanting to. You know, I would say too, like, I, I'm the first to admit it too, when if this was on a shelf and I saw that, I, my first instinct would be like, that's horrible because that's not readable. But what would I be doing? I'd be turning my head and looking at it and making and taking a closer look. So sometimes that's what you need to kind of, you know, particularly in packaging to get yeah. people's attention, man. Everyone's going so stripped down and no personality. Every brand looks alike now. It's just, you gotta, you gotta throw in a little touch like this, man. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, uh... all right. He's saving this one off guys. All right. So we are, wow, we're doing great. We might even get like two, three more in here, <gasps> dude. Perfect. <sighs> This is going. All right. We need this next one, guys. What's our next canned air smell? Let's get the creativity juices going. Put on your thinking cap. What do we got? It's <laughs> still not readable. <laughs> hey, let's do one called still not readable. Grandpa's undies. Oh, gosh, oh, it's no. apples. Are oh, my goodness. Daniel, <laughs> how are you doing, buddy? Daniel used to come hang out with me on a long time ago. Oh, that's cool, so, man. Welcome, bud. <laughs> still, he's still not readable. <laughs> that's fantastic Dang it. oh man let's get those ideas flowing we got we got one more what's up steven we need an idea canned air give us Crap. a smell give us something fun show us what we've done already show, show everybody our 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 list here for those yeah, of actually. you who have joined us uh just recently we have put together alex has made quite a collection of canned air smells all based and art directed by you guys um we're coming up with the scent the image area, the type treatments, the colors, the placement, the legibility. <laughs> it's always having fun. What do we got? Keyboard Let's crunch. Bacon. There we go. Oh, um, yes. Look at this, dude. There's one more, right? Uh, bubble gum? No, there's uh, two more. I forgot two more. to say Dirty, JPEGs. Get them in there. Face mask musk. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, look at this. We've got, man. We've been, we've almost doubled them up today. This is looking good. What else you guys got? Give us a fantastic idea for canned air. Cat litter. Oh, Diego. That's a bad one, but that might be really good. <laughs> no, not all of these have to smell bad, chat. Yeah, it could. Yeah, let's, we got a few pleasant ones in here, right? Crop duster, foggy air. Oh my goodness. Crop duster would be hilarious. Or, um, Gosh, even just something gardening, you know, you could do something there. We got the flower one. We're there. An old fridge. Oh my God. That would be pretty bad. Well, so we, yeah, we could bang out another three. Oh, easily. Maybe. Let's grandma's, go. ooh, grandma's couch. <laughs> I'm sure you can find like an old, dirty stock image of like a, of a couch. <laughs> the rubber chicken. Oh my goodness. I oh, kinda... Play-Doh. That's a good one. Yeah, these images yeah. that that one image was fantastic. Brand new tires, bay leaf. 
Brand new tires is kind of, I, that's a cool one. I kind of dig that. Oh God, look at the choices. <laughs> that is just made for a can. <laughs> All right, we gonna go with rubber chicken? All right, I think let's cool. do that. Let's that's keep that, the... That's that total synthetic plastic smell, right? <laughs> with the, lead, with the lead paint. <laughs> I love it, dude. Oh, that one with the no is kind of cool because you can, do you see the one with the quote bubble? The, right. the chicken? I miss it. Right, uh, oh, where was here. it? Hmm. Mm -hmm. It had a quote bubble. Um, this one. There, yeah. There was, maybe that uh, it might be too hard to fit that all on a can, huh? Well, we can just remove the quote bubble and have it. But I was thinking that'd be it. a cool spot for the, uh, for the logo, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so if we're going rubber chicken, is that the name? Is that you think? Or do we need uh okay. Both? how about Let's chicken chicken gotta... how about chicken chicken rubber chicken <laughs> oh my goodness you you're like how many words can i throw at alex so make oh, I'm, I'm like, yeah this one's sponsored by uh guy fieri <laughs> <laughs> see got some ooh there's some good ones cinnamon ooh cinnamon coffee oh i'm having that as soon as we're done that sounds so good smell of ooh yeah smell of fear that's a good one <laughs> What does fear smell like? <laughs> oh, I love that. That's fantastic. Coffin coffee, wet asphalt. All right. Give us a, what, uh, give us, let's challenge Alex. Give, like, we need a nice long name for this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you, dude, you have so much space there. You know, this would be great. And let's keep it clean. <laughs> a paragraph of coffee. Oh, this is just, this is just, this is, this looks like, something I'd see on the shelves. This looks killer. <laughs> oh gosh, this is great. <laughs> what am I gonna do? What typeface do I have for this? Tough cluck, oh. cluck and chicken. What's a good phrase with chicken? How to, when, uh, gosh, kind of like the chicken, chicken, winner, dinner, whatever that phrase is. Uh, cluck, oh. you could just call it cluck. I'll keep I it nice and simple. A bunch. I know, I know. I'm, I'm waiting for those those to come through. Name it. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Now you're talking. Ooh, that bot. The uh, the what is the it? The one. gothic open shaded. I kind of dig that. Yeah, it kind of has that like alphabet magnets. Yeah. Oh, totally. Feel to it. Yep. Little feels very pop culture with the with the the chicken image as well. Right, Which came first, the chicken do. or the ed? Uh, what else we got? Uh, why did the chicken? Why did the rubber chicken cross the road? That is the name. <laughs> Gosh darn it! Right. Why did the chicken? Thank you, Christine. That is the name. Why did the chicken, rubber chicken, cross the road? What the cluck? Or what the cluck? No, we're we're going we're going we're challenging you, dude. We're challenging you because we've got about a little more than fifteen minutes before we gotta get into our creative spotlight. So. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, man. Jeepers. All right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Finger clucking good. I got to be careful reading these off live. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to pull an Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Where the rubber meets the road. That's a good one. Yeah. Why did the rubber chicken cross the road? This looks good. Maybe we even get like a little... uh kind of like the uh the road dash lines going through here on the back of the can <laughs> you got to stack this one baby because you got you, you got like quite a vertical space there right yeah it's like why well, did the rubber chicken <laughs> cross uh -huh. <laughs> it's looking good there you go let's see let's just see from a sizing perspective what we've got yeah. <laughs> I would almost go like, why did the rubber chicken cross the road? Like line breaks, just fill that space, you know? True, 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 yeah. true. Oh, yeah, I man. see what you're saying. Yeah. Maybe I need to, let me just pull <laughs> that image straight. <laughs> I know I'm also, I'd like to build all my type in Illustrator. Yeah. 
Oh, always. I know some people are <laughs> ringing probably. <laughs> so. Nice, nice. There we go. Just trying to see from a sizing perspective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might have to add that link, uh, Andrew. Let everybody know where that video was. <laughs> the old slip up on the live stream. <laughs> Why did the rubber chicken cross the road? Nice. Is that, do you feel like that fits well? Yeah. Maybe even go with a, maybe sample that red instead of black for the type. Correct. Let's I like that. And there. then we can do Ooh. like a fill inside of it. Yeah, you could do that as well. Um, Give us a tagline for why the rubber <laughs> chicken. <laughs> and I want it to be at least three sen sentences because uh, he's still got you know, almost 15 minutes for this one. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. But we do need, yeah, chicken licking good. We need a good tagline for, for this one. Well, it's got to be the answer to the, the joke. Yes, yes, there you go to smell the canned air. <laughs> I almost feel like. Ooh, yeah, me. there you go. That looks good. Oh, there you go for a breath of fresh air. Oh, let me just That's fit that in real one. quick. That Man. is a good one. Christine's just killing with the art direction tonight. What did she <laughs> say? She said for a breath of fresh air. Yes, like answer, you know, like she put a colon for a breath of fresh air. For a breath of fresh air. Love it. I wish that this had a filled version. Oh, yeah. Oh, just to do it like in the back of, like pace behind? Yeah, somewhere I know. Like, out of the drop shot or something. You could do, um, you could do copy, paste behind, and then uh, expand and compound path off, right? Wow. That, You're that so would smart. do it. That You're would do so it. Smart. So create outlines, uh, undo, the comp just, undo the compound path. Then I could just do the, oh, I see what you're saying. Cause it, it would just be, you know, behind it. So it doesn't matter if, uh, let's see. Uh, compound, go, compound path. Uh, it should be in uh, what object compound paths and then release. There you go. Keep going down. Keep going down and release. There you go. And then Big you can smart. you can unite it or sometimes I'll just in Pathfinder unite it so it's all one piece and then put it behind it. And there you go. Because he has free range. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Cool. Gosh. What are you going to do, white? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I was going to say yellow, but the white. White looks fantastic. Yeah, we can Dig also that. explore what that looks like. Dig that. What do you yeah, think? I that, think that the one, yellow looks nice. You, you liked it? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. There you go. So like we got our tagline. We got our image. Do we need to do anything else before we see the final can on this one? Because he's got time, man. He's got time. <laughs> he's got time. He's got time. Should we make him do the nutritional panel for the backside of this? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's that's just sexy artwork right there. That's a good time. Yeah, everybody's favorite. Yes. Always. Uh, I'm trying always. to think like, do I stack this above him? Oh, you mean like uh let's see. I kind of fit that space a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Um which means I would need to get crazy. With this, I think that's correct. Will it do it for that? <laughs> I thought what it you, oh, it's still live, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. There you go. No, nope, that's the wrong one. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, it's because it like. You had, when it you, does that. You did line breaks. That's why, right? No, I didn't. I did it all in the box. Fine. Oh, I know. But like, I think because you have purposeful like line breaks, the way you space it out, 
your moving the box isn't doing it wasn't doing anything prior to that. Now it is. Got it. There you go. I thought I liked how you had it. Did you? Yeah. I mean it kind of it fit the silhouette of him a little bit. Would look look good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You just got a little bit like you're like, oh, I got so much time. Yeah, I was like, let me <laughs> burn through that real quick. <laughs> how dare you be a, a picky graphic designer? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what we were doing. I was like, oh gosh, let me get really fine-tuned with all this. Yeah. Right, let's, let's see here. Okay. There you I go. I don't know where the breath of fresh air is going to fit in it yet. Let's uh, see. What if you did, let's see, any ideas, guys? Because yeah, you got this like unique kind of layout, right? Where can he position that tagline? And maybe should it be in this in that in that same font, right? Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's in a, a nice complimentary font. I don't know. Could look like, you know, that uh, stamp font, like you, that you usually see like answers kind of being done with maybe like something like that. And then just have it nice and big over him. That could mm -hmm. work. Let's see. What do you guys think? Ideas for where we should put this tagline. Do you? Oh, let's see. It's looking pretty good. Maybe it's yeah. just kind of thrown. Maybe just the down there yeah. on the. Yeah, the very. Yeah. There you go. And maybe bring all the, what do you think? Bring the art over a little bit more on the can? Like. Yeah, to the left. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Below, yep. Kind of like that's what we were thinking. So then it just kind of, it justifies with the paragraph and it's down below there. That looks cool, dude. That looks really good. Look at you, chat. Look at you. I know. Very cool. That's looking good. So we're going to get that in there. And then, I don't know. And that didn't have a solid version, right? No. What about Ariel? Oh, Christine had a great idea. You put it upside down at the bottom because it's the answer. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes. I've spoken like a true creative. Just, <laughs> maybe just, ah, I should straight out of his mouth. Thank you, Matt. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I like the upside down thing. That's fantastic. That's a great idea. All those those little tricks. Sometimes you ever have a moment where you like you you you, you present that to a client. And you're like, they just better get it, please. <laughs> like, yeah, <you> know? yeah. <laughs> this is the this is the extra stuff that I just love doing. That's a great idea. Perfect. Uh, expand on, and then compound path release. Dude. Dude, this man's a pro. Look at this. I'm learning so much today. I know. Thank you, chat. <laughs> there you go. Maybe do that way. I like, I like the change of white for that. That looks great. Yeah, something like kind of just a, people. Just a pop. Just a pop a little just bit. Pop. This looks great. Shh, nobody will see that that's not <laughs> Do you have a little triangle behind the um the yeah it's because it's this oh it's, it's that stuff yeah gotcha. i'm just like masking it oh wow this guy visual use i don't want to spend too much time fussing with masking it <laughs> this is this is quick stuff man this is design challenges where do you think we put it just uh, oh you know tiny. <laughs> just gosh i know i know um maybe just i think just at the bottom but like flush with the with the type. It's okay if it goes over his neck, but what is do you it? think? Yeah, like right there, you know, like, cause I th the whole idea is like, it's well, typically it's usually like on the, maybe you'd put the it on back the back side. or something, but I do like this idea of having it here. We could also throw it. I think we could throw it off the edge, just kind of on the back yeah. side where like yeah. the ah, there you nutritional go. values and stuff. On the be. Yep. <laughs> on the bum of the chicken. That's a good one. <laughs> I think we're going to do, uh, we're going to, you, you should, you're going to have to join uh, my class this semester, dude. We should do something similar to this. And you and I'm I could be the, you and I could be the, the art directors with 26 students. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel so bad I, but, for them. But like, I, I think it's the, it's a, such a smart thing to do in, in, in conjunction to all the work you do. That's, you know, obviously for your work or for your, your clients, to just do something like this that's fun and and helps you with speed, helps you with kind of like, you know, font choices really quickly. There's a lot of value in this for sure. I love that my smart object's not updating. So let's see what happens. Let's see. Uh oh. I don't want to. 
Just close <laughs> this. Fun. There we go. That's looking good, dude. All right. Let's see if this updates. So it's. Oh, maybe it's down too low. <laughs> oh, it's coming, Diego. We're gonna do this in class. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually how you're gonna start every class now. I know. You sign in, and it's gonna be a quick thirty-minute challenge. <laughs> 15 minute challenge and you have to present for 15. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> All right, there we go. I think that's oh, close enough. I like that. I like that. Yep. Cool. G dig the negative space. Yeah, dude. That looks really, really good. Huh. <sighs> Paragraph of copy Ooh. and a title. You like shake it out, man. Shake it out a little bit, man. You got you got it there. This looks really, really good, man. This looks do we want to not do dimension and we want to jump into another project or what do you want to do? Where do you want to start oh, dimension? Now we could do minutes? our we could do our quick little uh, creative uh, spotlight if we want to do that. Spotlights in four minutes. We can do it an hour later. What do you want to do? Let's see. What do you think? Uh, do you want to? We got four minutes of time in between. What do you think? How about? Do you want to just add some like you know like the. Uh, the, you had those like lightning bolts coming out of the mouth, kind of like he's speaking, like he's yeah, give him a little bit of a little yeah. Bit let's of, do that. Let's something. give him give him some fun. It's like little lightning bolts. Yeah. Or whatever. Ooh, people are liking this one. This is a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how could you not like yeah. rubber chicken? <laughs> oh, there you go. That's 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 the. Let's see right what there. I had originally. I like something similar to that. Yep. Uh, with that little that little uh, red drop shadow, it looks fun. Cool. Yeah, let's let's do that. We can do that. Nice. I love this this like kind of union of Photoshop and Illustrator, and having things back and forth really quick. It, it does yeah. help kind of in your 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 proficiency with both applications by doing a lot of this stuff and seeing how it works. And, you know, um, I, I think this is where a lot of creatives get super clever with their own flow, you know? Exactly. It's like, it kind of becomes just like what you're kind of comfortable with, but at the yeah. same time, like what you're quickest in, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm still a, a good 80% illustrator, 20% Photoshop. Like Photoshop for me is an, is a, is a supplement to illustrator, you know? And yeah. I know a lot of people have it the opposite around or a good 50 50, but. Um, I've been to the point. What's that? I lost one. Of, oh, it's oh, I, oh, oh, yeah. I oh, had you it had locked. it in the, the wrong point. Yep. I had it locked. <laughs> I was like, it's the worst. But yeah, I totally agree. I think. There you go. I love nice. it. Okay, of course it did that the wrong way. Okay. Good. <laughs> good thing we have two minutes. Yes, you still have two minutes, man. <laughs> I did the drop shadow just how I would want to do a drop shadow and not aligning with the type. So. Oh, you did. Yeah, you did it like full, like, like not just the offset. There you go. Uh, yeah. So if I was to match the offset, it's down to the right. It's probably. Sounds like uh, Marsha's having chicken for dinner tonight. She's yeah. Got one, she's got one in the oven roasting right now. Mm. <laughs> there you go. That looks killer. Two minutes. Oh, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Got it. Two minutes. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let's see here. Do, 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 Always do. fun. Boom. Love when you oh. have that, uh, when the points lock up to your uh, existing points. Yeah. It's so helpful. <laughs> Christine writes in, I hope it's not a rubber chicken you're roasting. Yeah, I might get a little. Uh, but um, it might smell pretty good though. Let us hey, know how it smells. There's a and new smell: burnt rubber chicken. <laughs> you know, if the rubber chicken catches on, then we might, you know, make a series out of it. You never know. We could have the next new, you know, property on Netflix. You never know. It's true. I feel like that needs to. I don't know. It's, I like that. Yeah, you got the more. A little, I look um, at this lightning bolt. The just, less I like just it because you got one minute. Oh yeah, go. it's going. Oh, I did it again. Oh, God. <laughs> Gotta unlock your lawyer's laws. Come on, dude. <laughs> Command shift two to unlock your lawyers real quick, like. Let's get one or two in there. Oh, e ah, mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Double it up, do two of them, rotate it a little bit. Gold. Part yes. Scale. Oh. He's killing it, bro. Maybe he's we need killing a third. It. Sure. 
Sure. Why not? You know, love it. Overlapping. Yeah. Coming. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you think overlap would be good? Uh, come on. L live on the edge, Alex. Live on the edge. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not comfortable right. with it. All right, uh, hurry, hurry. It's 1 30. <laughs> let's see that. Let's see that preview and then we'll uh we'll check out our, our creative spotlight today. Wrong tap. There we Love go. It. There we go. All right. Very nice, dude. Fire Love breathing it. thunderbolt breathing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the answer. The answer thing was such a great idea. And then you've taken it off to the side even better. Perfect. Perfect. I agree, Marshall. Perfect. This looks fantastic. That is hot. All right. So Should we take a look spotlight. over? Yeah. Spotlight. So one of the things that we're doing each week is uh, uh, just showcasing someone that we think you should look at, someone you should follow, someone you should check out and look at. We've got Brent Fox. Brent's from Utah. Awesome. That's always cool to see. I don't know about you, man. I like checking out folks that do things that I do not do when it comes to graphic design and creativity and all that. And this looks, what's your first impression? I mean, when you take a look at this. I think you've kind of nailed it, right? It's, yeah. For me, his breadth of what he's worked on and what he can bring to the table is kind of insane, right? Like you've got everything from God. like action photography in his portfolio yes, and portraiture, portraitures? Portraiture? Portraits? Worcestershire? I'm just gonna make my own <laughs> words up. Um, but yeah, Our you've words. got like, you know, these really look great photos. These are great, man. And then, you know, you dive in and you've and then got look at that animal logos. Like, this is great. The flexibility, I know. It's I amazing. really like this. This is like, I, I would say any one of these sections, I would consider this guy a pro. And then you see that he goes into illustration. And then there's these, that basketball one down below is really fantastic too. Uh, this one's a jazz one? Jazz one, yeah. Look at that. I mean, to me, I love seeing things like this that like are techniques that maybe I haven't seen just yet that have that loose pin and then that watercolor vibe. Look at the Joaquin Phoenix one. I mean, Jesus, yeah, this is it's beautiful. It just shows kind of like the breadth and depth that he has yeah. as an artist. I, yeah, guys, these are all on Behance. This is a, an, and it's a great way to show off Behance as well by particularly like, I think if you have a lot of mini projects and maybe they're not so robust and you haven't built a huge case study for each one of them, Behance is a great way to just have all these tiles. And you can see like, he's just showing off a few things here and that's all he has. Great but show your scale in the appearance when you get on there and all that variety. I, I, I'm a big fan of that, you know, um, first impression thing, particularly in your portfolio and on a Behance page, right? Absolutely. I mean, this looks great. I mean, there's so, I, I, I can't believe one person did these, right? Yeah. And directed <laughs> art for this VR game. Like, come on. Oh my gosh. That's fantastic. Like, wow. Look at that. That's really that's killer. That's really There's killer. So much. Love it's it. Like, yeah, it's kind of crazy how, how much talent this person has. And oh, hit, let's see that logos uh, folder too. It's like Where's a that? yellow, it's like a pure oh, yellow with guy. black logo. I always want to, always love to see logo pages for sure. Yeah. So again, like this is a great idea on Behance. If you've got a series of logos and maybe not a lot of work prior after that, show them off on a logo page, you know, um, We've seen how a lot of people do, like you'll maybe make them one common color and show them on a nice, a nice clean background. That's always yeah. a great way to like unify a lot of your work to look good, you know? This yeah, fun, absolutely. Man. I mean, or, you know, if you're designing a bunch of canned air products, potentially, <laughs> you could put those all into a case study as well. So if you've been designing along at home. Yeah. If you only too. you're lucky enough to do that, man. Who, who <laughs> gets to work on canned air? Come on. I think there might be a couple people <laughs> working just a on few. canned air today. Just a few. <laughs> exactly. But definitely, oh man, this kind of stuff I dig. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool. Cool, like dashboards and control centers and things like that. This is great. I'd love to uh, know a little more about how like he gets his work, where, it, I mean, having such different uh, skill sets, sometimes you're, you're kind of pigeonholed into one area, but it looks like he's getting work in all these different kind of genres, which is fantastic. You yeah, know, I love this, uh, this concept piece yeah. is so good. <laughs> it's like peaceful, tranquil. And then there's just this like robot ready to just take down. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's got like a really nice juxtaposition of like being like almost a cute robot that has a gun you know like it's like oh this is like a cute scene but the it's, like a little, it's almost dog-like too right yeah. 
it's cool yeah. it's like a really and oh it's right next to a rabbit oh so it's like oh you know there's a cool juxtaposition <laughs> so yeah it's awesome i mean and then he's got these like icons or yeah. like illustration pieces too man what like, a breath of, of of incredible like different variety and work here this is fantastic so definitely give him a follow you can find him here it's brent fox you can do a quick search on behance give him a follow let him know you saw his work on adobe live tell him nick and alex sent you that would be a great and then wave country. at him. yes and then wave and say how are you this superhuman <laughs> it's what we would like to know right but it's all about giving love to other designers and maybe even folks that are uh, new and you can discover here i always encourage you guys um if someone does ever click or appreciate your work do the same right you know this is a fantastic community to meet other designers and folks um we've been doing it for for months over on our show on fridays office hours we look at portfolios like this we look at designers and show off great case studies um i'm always inspired i i've just spent the last week kind of updating mine this is like a blast to do you know yeah good stuff man look at the photography i it's mean it's wild wild you can kind of see i think like almost the uh the breadth of like professional and passion projects kind of all yeah encompassed. so you get like a good well-rounded picture of who yeah Fox is Oh man, okay, we've cool. got some friends in the audience. Chris Porter's here. What's up, Amy Hood? Oh, this oh, is awesome. Oh, hey. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining us. You're just in time because we're gonna switch over, and we're gonna going back? Oh, we're no. gonna we're gonna take a look at some dimension work. Uh, we're going and to challenge <laughs> Alex even more. Oh, I, I <laughs> kind of want to do another another can. Let's do one oh. more. I think you got you got plenty of time, and then we'll do okay. one. And we'll do one. So maybe to some of our new folks. Okay, Amy's gonna help us out here. We need our, the idea here is Alex is doing really quick design sprints, coming up with these canned air. Show, show us the collection that we've created already. Yeah, let me see if I've got, all, let me pull them all in real quick. We've yeah. been doing about 15 minute sprints, 20 minute sprints on essentially making a full line of canned air. So thanks yes. Spaceballs, crack open a fresh scent ah. every time you want. We've got O'Hare Airport. We did a little Beverly Hills style. We did the puppy breath, total nonsense, Darth Vapor, <laughs> a yeah. dirty laundry, bubble yum. What do we got? I think yes, the chat is going off. Look at all these good friends here today. Give us an idea. We got that. We got, we got enough time for that one more. Um, finalize it, maybe bring it in there. Dang, 15 minutes only. Incredible. Yes. Yeah. What do we got? It's, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Tough. Andrew screaming out my window. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got, guys? Any good last? This is the final I, one. I think you were saying something about office air or something was your Ooh. final one. Is that is that still what you That's want? That's like oh we uh, coffee Amy, breath. Amy has a good one. Coffee, coffee breath. breath. Oh my god, that is that is my worst fear and my yes. Let's do I love that. that. Let's coffee do that. breath. I love it. All right. Oh. Okay. I don't know That's what I have for a typeface. That's coffee breathy. <laughs> Ooh, that, it's got to look like maybe it should be, you know what? I think most people experience it in their first job where you work with someone and they, so you got to make it like kind of like the office, maybe like, you know, kind of that vibe. What do you think? I'm trying to, th I don't know. What's what the it, office typeface? Oh no. I'm oh, it's kind of like guy. that typewriter, you know, like that typewriter um, kind oh, of upper and lower yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that would be kind of like, neat. Like coffee, coffee breath is like, I do, that's where I usually remember it. It's like a coworker or someone that like, you're like, oh my God, I hope I don't have it too. <laughs> Baskerville, no. What is, what is a good type writer font? Uh, look up, I, you could look up, do you have any maybe with typewriter or? Um, <laughs> you mean I know it's that simple? <laughs> I know they're here. Yeah. Oh, yep. Coffee oh, uh, and a cig. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, American typewriter. There you go. Some, Some of these ones. would be great. Uh, any of the, any of those, I, I like that. One. That bold one looks good. Yeah, that looks yeah. great. Perfect. Uh, all right. No pressure. I mean, yeah, a little throwback. I kind of like that. No harm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what about the image? So would it be a coffee cup? Well, maybe it's that old, you know, like if you could find like the, uh, you know, the, the, the coffee thing that's in the break room, you know? Yep. You know, that kind of old style. Yep. That what would be kind of fun. typing my words into. There we go. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> gone. I love it. So here, coffee. Oh, coffee breath. Is that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> as long as it, the, you got spell check on. No, of course not. It's not Come on. on. I thought we learned I'm that yesterday. Playing with fire. <laughs> so we've got like a couple options with the typewriter font. I almost feel like you need like a coffee stain. Oh, totally. Which would mean we need probably a coffee. I want the, uh, sleeve, the coffee ring. The coffee sleeve. Oh, like, yes. Like a, so a to-go cup with the sleeve. Let's see. Yeah, like that I think could be a really cool texture. For Look at it. it never fails every time. Look at that Adobe stock. Coffee Thank stain you. on the office shirt. Good idea, Chris. I like that. Let's see. Uh, Let's just license this bad boy up. So coffee in. breath. While he's picking a great image and we're looking at some font choices, chat your chance. What is the tagline for coffee breath canned air? Make it a doozy because this is our last one. Coffee breath. Hmm. Let's see. Um, ooh, it's the worst when someone's right in your face and they don't know it and they're just talking away and you're like, I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite coffee shops for me. Oh, I mean, on the, I'm going to go with Pete's. Pete's is my favorite. And what's the other one? Uh, it, we did it up Phils, in the uh, Phil's. Come on. Phils. Yeah. I was introduced to Phil's up in uh, at Adobe Live a few years ago. Oh, were you? Yeah. Nice. Paul, uh, like Paul's this. a big fan. So Phil's is awesome. Yeah. They had some good one. I woke up like this. <laughs> That's a great tagline. <laughs> That's a really great one. <laughs> yeah. I like this. Ooh. So are you going to try to, let's see. You might need to show the, cause like you need to have that, the lid. Do you, you think so? I mean? It has to be the lid. You I was got, kinda... well, but maybe you take the lid and, and apply that separately on the same, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That might work. I almost feel like I need to. <laughs> Amy says Phil's is her least favorite. <laughs> oh no. Actually, but I, I should say, uh, Amy could probably name a few. There's some really good ones in Orange County. I can't remember the names because I'm, I've only gone a few times, but there's some fantastic ones down south. Yeah, uh, the smell of success. You have oh, that's a good tagline. You have no clue. That's so funny. <laughs> Just let it happen. What, what do we got? I Let's am see. gonna grab this object selection tool. See if I can grab just the just the lid. I want to actually break our template and wrap the coffee cup mm -hmm. in the sleeve. Yeah. While we try to figure out the other parts of it. Ooh, I wonder if. Gosh, I know you haven't started it just yet. Do you think would dimension allow you to mess with the crop? of the of trying to get this on the can better or what do you think keep going dimension, my idea. it yeah, might be a little like i would have to you have to break it up into a lot of different like pieces and mess around with it there for sure yeah oh okay. gosh there's a good one coffee breath another reason to socially distance <laughs> yeah i was gonna say it's a great time to wear a that's a good mask. one i love that Cool, cool, cool. Good morning, question mark. That'd be a good one. Or what was the uh, what was the line? The, the, what was the boss uh, in Office Space where he kept coming with? Because remember, remember, he always had the coffee mug in his hand. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna like, need uh, you to it's like I'm gonna need you to work on Thursday or Saturday. <laughs> no, or where's the TCP they... report? <laughs> that would be Just great. See if we can get the spacing correct on this one. Let's see how it's looking. We still got about 15 minutes, man. You're looking good. You're looking Thankfully. good. All right, let's Oof. do a little bit of a warp. Someone has a case of the Mondays. That's a good one. Yep. Ooh, there it's looking good. Now, look at this guy. Look at the magic. I'm trying to impress Amy. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe this one comes with a, an actual exactly. sleeve on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Rather than try to make this thing look, yeah, no, yeah, just. Break the boundaries here, dude. You got it. I love You're it. You're gonna see this at everybody's favorite grocery store. Oh, dude. Hey, very it, soon. This this could sell. This could sell. That's what you're I'm saving. Thinking. You're saving the best for last, Alex. This is I'm trying. Go. No pressure. Come on, come All right, on. let's see here. What like what's that kind of like paper texture? Is that what I'm trying to get right the now? The corrugate? You mean like the corrugate? Yeah. It's like Yeah. Maybe it's something like 
I don't know. Oh, there was one down below. Are you trying to get the one that's fluted? I can go fluted or not fluted, whatever. But that's where is that where we're gonna put the the name? I'm trying to think. Yeah, about? maybe maybe actually yeah. I just need to like let's see what it looks like with just white on this. Let's see. Uh, or do you make it look like um you know when they write it on the back, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. So maybe you make a square with a line in Illustrator and and do like a marker text. Cause you've still got 15 minutes. <laughs> Let me just you gotta make it look that all real quick. It's gotta be pers it's gotta be personalized, right? I of like course. that idea. Yes. Oh, this is killer. This is oh killer. my goodness. All right. What are uh, we? Oh, oh, oh. Let's see here. Can we fix this? Ah. Don't you just love whenever your hardness is not <laughs> set correctly? Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Okay, we're nice, close. nice, nice. Perfect. All right. So then, okay. Did we get a final on that that tagline? What did you guys like? What was the what was the winner? Give us give us that again in chat because I saw a bunch. You guys were on fire there for a second. Let's see here. I'd grab a just normal coffee cup, probably. There you go. So Can we're going move. with. Coffee Breath is the name. We're gonna have a fantastic, fun little tagline for everybody. Grinds of the senses. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a good one, Voodoo Val. I love it. What else do we got? I think that might be it. Grinds of the senses. How is she so good with naming? It's like, I know. It's like, actually impressive. Wonderful. Love it. Ooh, the, yeah, the social distancing tag was pretty good too. Another re another reason for social distancing. I love how everybody had a different name for corrugate craft. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, the tools and traits of our business and industry. Let's see. Maybe that'll give us a little bit more shape to the can. The daily grind. It's closer. All right. We're mm -hmm. getting closer. Yep. All right. Yep. Um, what, so we still need to make a logo. I've been, you see how I've been. Oh just gosh, yeah. Why did you, let's, huh. <laughs> you have about 13 minutes, man. Maybe oh, 12 really? with the cutoff. Yeah, probably 12. All right. 12. Great, 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 great. <laughs> this could be one of those. We'll follow up on Alex's Instagram page with the final one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Let's, oh, yes. Uh, let's... Amy was asking about the wind the other night. Did you have it in your area too? It was beyond windy the other night. Did you have that where you're at? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, actually. Oh yeah, everything yeah. in the patio just went fl went completely to the other side. It was crazy. Yeah, I saw three palm trees moving. Ooh, so, yes. so brisk. <laughs> <laughs> so brisk. Oh, that would've uh, been a great canned air. Something so brisk. You know, like, yeah. Just wind. <laughs> what do we do for this? We see coffee stains, coffee breath. I feel like there needs to be like some sort of like little little Starbucks signature to it. knockoff. Oh, you could just do the whole. Uh, let's see, coffee. Oh, maybe you can make it look like coffee bean. You know. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. That might be cool. Are you gonna do the ring or are you gonna do, um, you're just gonna play off of a, the typical coffee vibe. That's kind of cool. Good. Dude, you, you just go nailed with... like the Starbucks color by memory. That was pretty good. <laughs> I gotta well, admit. It, it was just based in there. <laughs> He's like, it's Don't in my color. Actually stole it. <laughs> it's in my color palette. <laughs> I have all the brands in there. Exactly. I mean, that way you know. Yeah. This is looking good. Hey guys, don't forget, Andrew and I are tomorrow at 2.30, office hours right here. We are gonna be doing a, a look at Adobe Rush um, and Ooh. we're gonna be doing some cool demos on that. Uh, definitely join us tomorrow at 2.30 right here. We're gonna have a blast. We still don't know what we're gonna be doing, but something in that zone. <laughs> coffee breath, let me grab a coffee bean from Adobe Stock real quick. Nice. Always great to have. Coffee bean vector. Man, mm. I can't even keep up with you. You're so fast. 
Oh, right. yes. And we're having giveaways tomorrow. That is right. Thanks for reminding me, Andrew. Golden Rose is totally ready for office hours. Our homework channel has been off the charts, man. People are doing such great stuff over on Discord. Creative challenges, our office hours, homework. You guys are killing it. Ooh, kind of like that, dude. Yeah, those little trails of it, kind of fun. I know, and we're like running out of time, so I'm just... Ooh, how are we doing? Oh, dude, it. yeah, you have you have about eight minutes. You got about eight minutes, dude. Uh, right. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Great. We have about five minutes left. Look at us. Okay, guys, this is, this is it. You got to have a, you have to have one on that artboard oh, before no. we end. That is the goal. All right. I can, I can do this actually. You can do this. You I can, can do, do this. this. You can I do can this. Do this. You can do this. Design is just a practice and confidence. It really is. It really is. All right, let's do this. Dude, that would make a this. fantastic t-shirt. I like that. I'm just going to throw this on there here. Bada bing, bada boom. Sheet to win. Yes. There you go. All right. And then I'm going to wrap that kind of thing with some coffee nice. beans. Are you going to bring the cup over to it? Like for that, for the taper or no? I was trying to get the coffee cup yeah. in there with this and that and this and that. <laughs> Christine, there was a yeah. lot of ambition. I was just answering Christine. Myself and Andrew, who you see in in um, chat, are both on tomorrow at two thirty. Uh, every Friday, look us up. Office hours is the show, and we're doing mobile workflow on the go with all of the mobile apps that Adobe offers. Do you use any of the mobile apps, Alex? Uh, that would require me to leave my desk. Yeah. <laughs> And so that's no. not happening too often, is no. it? No. How about just in real life? <laughs> in real life, no. Um, but yeah, I, I like particularly to um, capture is one of those ones I use a lot in in a conjunction with like the stuff you're doing right now. Like if you needed a quick wood texture or something uh, or anything, you capture it right on your phone. It pops it right into Adobe Creative Library, and you're it's on your your artboard in like a split second. Especially if you can't, if you're looking for something kind of cool for a comp, really quick, like you do, you're doing here. Yeah. Nice, dude. I'm trying to uh, a minute. Okay, let's. Yeah. Spit it along, Laz. Come on, man. Let's go. Save faster. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I like this idea. Kind of having it in the background a little bit. Yeah, that was the goal. Let's Ooh, lose dude. the sleeve and just move the logo. I, I think just maybe no sleeve. <laughs> yeah, let's go. No sleeve. Throw the logo and in stack, there. Stack coffee breath, maybe, and you can get it a little oh, bit bigger. Please. I think you're 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 onto it, dude. This is looking good. Uh, really good. Before now, while we have a little time, where can they find you on uh, Instagram, my friend? Or uh, I don't use Instagram. Go where, off where the social media you? kick. Let's go to behance.net slash Alex Lazarus. Perfect. That's Hang where out you can with me find there. Me. If you want to talk design or shop. I like that. Whatever. I like that change, dude. I'm in the same boat. Like, it just seems like social media is getting crazy. Yeah. You know, Behance is just way more inspiring and way more, <laughs> more fun. So It's our people, man. It's our people. people. Yeah. All right. That's close enough. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One last touch. One last touch. Cause he's still got like two minutes, maybe. Like I don't a know. minute. Uh, maybe a minute. Yeah. Um, this is look oh wait, add it to your uh, final list. We gotta we gotta see the final okay. lineup. And then we'll do a vote. We'll do a vote. Okay. For the favorite one. All right, guys, get ready. We're gonna look at everything. Uh tell us which one you like the best. Hopefully we have enough time. Dun, 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 dun. No pressure. We'll add Jeopardy theme music right here. So you've got Chicago, O'Hare, you got the Bel Air, you got the Puppy Breath, you got the Total Nonsense, Darth Vapor, Dirty Laundry, Seller's Choice, Flower Power, Coffee Breath, Why Did the Rubber dick and Chicken Cross the Road, <laughs> and Bubble Yum, Favorite. Where are we, guys? Let us know. Dude, great job, bro. Round of Thank applause you. from, <laughs> from Wish everybody. Wish the blast would have been a little bit stronger. but This is great. This is okay. great. That's quite a uh, a worthy collection there as well, for sure. Beast Boat Performance, yes, Chris, I totally agree. Yeah, Design I think my favorite would be the the Flower Power one, absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna go with 
I kind of dig the rubber chicken one because it just seems different, but dirty laundry as well. I think that one really came through as well. You know, rubber chicken, chicken. What else we got? Favorite O'Hare. Yeah. I, I, the chicken one in the cellar. Definitely for sure. That was pretty good. That's really good. Darth Vapor. I mean, dude, the, just the, the touch of adding that lightsaber glow <laughs> was yeah. so much fun, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> Yep. Bel, Bel Air for sure. Rubber chicken. Dude, they're all fantastic. You got to turn this into some fun little uh, Behance project for sure. Right? I think that's a great idea. Absolutely. But yeah. Why that's well. kind of the next logical thing. That's really cool. Well, for we hope sure. you guys love these. These are fantastic, man. I, I love this challenge. I think anybody should try these things, even if it's once a week or once a month. Um, giving yourself these little challenges to do. Um, no one even has to see them. It could be just these fun things. Cause look at, look at what you, you learned. you you found great new typography tricks. You, you found Adobe stock stuff to kind of pull in and use for all of these things, especially for concepts, right? Yeah. That, I mean, it's a great like test of like, what can you do really quickly? How can you, you know, working under tight deadlines, practice it so that whenever you do have to deal with it, it's a lot less stressful. Yeah. I, and I love seeing this too. I think it's really impressive to see. And I, I think it's one of those things I'm going to just shoot to do a little bit more often <laughs> to get this going. But I um, want to thank you guys so much for joining us. Alex, last words. What'd you get out of this? What'd you like the most? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited to do more of it. You know, just keep I know, practicing. For sure. So let us know guys. Hey, and if you do any of this kind of stuff, find us on Behanced. You got both of the links there, both Alex and my page. Love, just tag us on it. We'd love to see what you did. Super great. Other than that, uh, Alex, it's been a blast again, bro. Always good to do it with you, man. Pleasure. All right. Don't forget, office hours tomorrow, 2.30, right here on Adobe Live with me and Andrew. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.